Not just another restaurant on the California coast, and Mark Pitta tells us why in this Halloween ghost story. A few miles north of the sleepy town of Half Moon Bay, on scenic Highway 1, sits the Moss Beach Distillery. And if you choose to have lunch or dinner there, you may be joined by an uninvited guest. She is simply known as the Blue Lady Ghost. Bob Lacey, who's been a resident for over 20 years, knows the story. There was a piano player that used to play in this very room, and he was having an affair with a married woman who was always dressed in blue. She was married, uh, as I understand it, to a, a local bootlegger. One night, the two of them went down on the beach below us here in, into a cave to have a little trice, and somebody stabbed her in the back. The piano player was not to be seen the rest of that evening, but he did come back the next day and started playing the piano. The murder was never solved. And uh, as the story goes, this lady, who is now called the Blue Lady Ghost, haunts these premises. And there have been lots of unexplained things that have happened attributed to her. Intrigued, I enlisted the guidance of psychic Annette Martin. Annette, why are we standing in this particular spot of the Moss Beach Disorder? This is where the blue lady comes up from the beach and she walks into the restaurant. And her name is Kate. How do you know that? Well, she likes to be called Kate because she's told me that. Okay, you communicate with her? Yes. Okay, what I yes. want to know is, was it her husband that killed her or was it the bartender, her lover? Oh, it was her husband, definitely her okay. husband, yes. How do you know that? Well, she told me and I saw the whole do you, scene. Do you have her number? <laughs> We've heard about some strange occurrences happening. We think Kate is responsible. What are some of those things that have happened? Oh, some of the interesting things are that she's gone around and she has untied the apron strings of the bartender. Uh, she's gone around and swatted a couple of the bartenders on the rear end. She loves men and she loves to tease them. Uh, she's moved the lamps in the restaurant. We have actually seen that several times ourselves. Uh, she has turned over uh, one of the chairs out in the front room near the front door there. And it knocked over and then it did a somersault. But what about those who work here? Executive chef, Greg Fetterson. Most of the time I've noticed uh, noises uh, in, in the form of music and uh, voices, basically like a party going on. Uh, I'll be closing the kitchen down and I can hear it from downstairs. I'll be coming upstairs and it'll be getting louder. And as soon as I get over to this corner of the restaurant, right back in here, it, it just, this is where it seems to be emanating from. All of a sudden it stops. Lloyd, you're a paranormal investigator. Right. Are her claims about Kate true or not? We've been pulling a lot of information from Annette, but we also have been comparing it against history from what we've been able to find, other witnesses, as well as other psychics, and it dovetails together. It forms a nice cohesive picture. A device Lloyd uses to measure magnetic fields was the only way to see if Kate was in the room. What you're about to see is not a trick. Okay, let's see if she, we get any of her here. Okay. Kate, if you're here, make this go crazy, this magnetic thing, please. Oh, she, ooh, it moved a little bit. Kate, could you give me a little more, please? Come on, this is Mornings on 2K. It moved again, did you see that? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna tell the audience, I'm not touching this thing. So you're saying Kate likes it here? Yes. She likes the Moss Beach loves Distillery. Yes, yeah, she loves the Moss Beach Distillery. Is, is there any way I could tell her to get valet parking? <laughs> Kate? Wow, that was a good one. Hey. In tribute, the ladies' room has its own homage to Kate, and maybe that's why she likes it here. Do you think she'll ever leave if her lover ever comes back to her? You know, even if he comes, if Charlie comes to take her, I, I really don't think she's going to leave. I think she's going to talk Charlie into staying right here. Really? Because she loves it here. Oh, yes. Maybe you'll have two ghosts. Yes, wouldn't that be Charlie. fun? Whether you believe the psychic, the investigator, the chef, or the longtime resident is of no consequence to Kate. She'll be here for as long as you live. that music. All right, we have our little ghost down there, but we do want to mention the Moss Beach Distillery is having a seance next Wednesday, November 7th. For more information, you go to their website, mossbeachdistillery.com, or you can give them a call at 415-249-9275.